Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for a game called Earth. This game is designed by Maxime Tardif and it's published by Inside Up Games. And in this game, Monique and I are going to be competing to create our most symbiotic Earth of our own. Mm. Trying to uh, <laughs> do our best to kind of create this 4x4 four four grid with cards to score points. Yes, that's that's right. <laughs> we're building an ecosystem of sorts. It's part engine builder, but really it's a card game where we're trying to create synergies amongst our cards. Right. Now this game plays one to five players and it includes several modes of play, including a solo mode. There's a 2v2 team mode as well as different levels of difficulty. Mm -hmm. And so today, as per usual, we are going to start with a teach of the game and then go straight into a two player playthrough and end with a review. If you'd like to jump around, we will include timestamps in the description below. But before we begin, if you could all do us a big favor and turn on your Klingon subtitles, just in case we make any errors, we can add those corrections there. If we discover we made an error, we'll try to add it to the description as well. Mm -hmm. And lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for a two-player game of Earth. Welcome to Earth. Earth. They got, <laughs> they got the that? game name. That's right. Earth. Well, just to kind of give you the lay of the land, each player has their own player board. And this is going to be home to a few of our uh, very important cards. Mm -hmm. We have our island card, the climate card, and our ecosystem card. Mm -hmm. During setup, each player is going to be uh, given a choice of these if you're doing the advanced setup. And they're all double-sided. So you actually get to decide which side of the card uh, to use, mm -hmm. which will make sense in a second. Sure. And in the middle here, we have the fauna board. And this board houses the four different fauna cards, aka the animal cards that we are going to be using for our specific gameplay. Mm -hmm. These are basically the goals that we're going to be competing for. And we also have two additional ecosystem cards that's in addition to our own personal ones that are going to be for end game scoring. Now, before we continue, I do want to note that we are using the standard side of the fauna board. Mm -hmm. For a simpler game, you can use the opposite side that has uh, less competitive scoring, as well as only space for two of these. Now in this game, we are going to be building out our own four by four grid. So there's an abstract component to this, and we're going to be building this out of these earth cards. The cards are comprised of different uh, flora. flora. <laughs> it's flora, right? Yes. Okay, flora cards, which are basically different types of plants. You'll also sometimes see events, and you'll also sometimes just see terrain cards, which I'm not holding uh, any of them right now. Mm -hmm. And so over the course of the game, we're essentially just going to be choosing between these four different types of actions that are shown at the top of our player boards in order to play these cards into our grid and then activate their powers in a sort of engine building kind of way. So before we continue, let's just go ahead and take a look at the anatomy of one of these cards. This is a standard type of flora card that you'll see in the deck. And so at the top left hand corner, it actually tells you how much you have to pay in order to put this card into play. Now, the main resource that we are going to be accruing and spending to put these cards into play is called soil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and these are the little uh, soil tokens. And so this card requires me to spend uh, one soil in order to place this into my display. At the end of the game, it's going to score me two points. And so that's what that leaf uh, symbol is right there. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, you'll see there's space for growths. And growths are like these tree trunk appendages that we'll be placing on top of cards. The number on the left-hand side tells you how many, um, what the maximum capacity is for those trunks on that space. And at the end of the game, you're going to score one point for each of these uh, trunk pieces that you have on all of your cards in your display. Mm -hmm. Now, if you reach the maximum, which in this case is two, a height of two, then I'll score that number on the right instead, so, which is three points. Yeah, a little bit more bang for your buck. Yeah. So just, just one point more than, you know, had I scored two. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> in addition to that, you'll see spaces sometimes on some cards at the bottom here for, um, I think they're called sprouts. Sprouts. And that's what these green cubes are. We're going to be accruing these just like we will the growths and soil. And at the end of the game, these are also going to score us a one point each. But the thing about these sprouts is at any time during the game, there's an anytime action over here that allows you to spend three sprouts on cards for two soil. Mm -hmm. So they're also a, a way for you to gain more soil if needed. Now, each card is also associated with a specific type. And so in this case, this is a mushroom and a specific habitat, which is the uh, the symbols that you'll see up top. Those symbols are going to be primarily for the end game scoring cards, as well as the fauna cards sometimes. And so we'll be talking about those a little bit later. 
And lastly, the bottom of each card usually has a colored stripe, and that's going to be associated with one of the four types of actions in the game. Because, like I was mentioning, this is an engine building type game. Sure. And so uh, in our display over the course of the game, this is going to be built out. And whenever we take those actions, you'll have the opportunity to activate those powers in your display. And so the way that the game works is uh, we're basically going to be taking turns being the active player. As the active player, you get to choose which one of these four actions to take. And depending on which one you choose, you're going to basically just activate the ability up top, which is going to be the strongest version of it. Mm -hmm. Everybody else around the table will simultaneously get to activate the bottom part of that action, which is a weaker version. So in this game, every turn, you're going to be doing something. Mm -hmm. Now let's just go ahead and go over the four different types of actions because they are fairly straightforward. Going from left to right, we have the green action. And this action allows you to put the cards into your display. Sure. So if you were the one choosing the action, you can play up to two cards and then in addition you can also draw four cards from the deck and keep one yeah. discard the rest and remember you do have to pay the soil cost for those cards that you're putting into play that's right and so uh for placement rules we're building out a four by four grid so your first card could be literally played anywhere in that space uh, any card after that has to be placed adjacent to a card that's already in your display and so that can be orthogonally adjacent or diagonally adjacent. Yep. And you just have to just keep in mind that it cannot go past uh, four wide and four tall. Mm -hmm. So just keep those restrictions in mind. Yep. And placement is important because some of these cards are going to uh, score depending on what it's adjacent to. So there's a lot of uh, sort of abstract scoring in this. There's a lot of cards in the game. This is just yes. one stack. There's another one there, plus uh -huh. a couple more off screen. So uh, <laughs> there's a lot of different variations in the cards in the game. Right. Now, everyone else who's not the active player gets to play one card into their display and also draw a card from the deck and keep it. And the way that you would uh, signify what action is being taken is using your fifth leaf. So if Naveen were the active player and he chose the green action, I would place mine there just so I know that that's what was uh, that's you, chosen. That's how you keep track. So the, the active player is going to have this kind of circular token here. Uh, I think so, it's this one. Uh, that's the first player marker oh. right there. Yeah, <laughs> close. I get them confused. Uh, so this one is going to be there. So that's uh, going to be the active player. Uh -huh. And then that one right Everybody there. Everybody else uses their leaf. Exactly. Their leafy leaf. Actually, I fact-checked <laughs> that, and I was right. Okay. <laughs> this is the first player token. It has a one on it. Oh, there you and go. And so the active player uses this. It's the, the same the width as the actual oh, action okay. space. So. Clever. There you go. Let's just use this now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the second action, which sure. is this orange bar here. Uh, this allows you to get more soil. So uh, if you choose it, you get five soil. And in addition, you get to compost two cards from the deck. So this space right here is for composting cards. Um, sometimes you can use uh, cards that are in your compost pile to do things, depending on if you have a card that gives you a power to do that. Sure. But otherwise, these are just going to score you one point per card that, that's here at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. So taking this action lets you literally take two cards from the deck <laughs> and just place it there. So You've you composted from the deck. If you choose to not uh, take them from the draw deck, you can alternatively just take them from the discard pile. That's what it says in the rule book. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to uh, barrel through the draw deck, sure. but that is up to your group. Yeah, definitely in a higher player account, that's going to be something you want to keep account for. Right. Everyone else gets to take two soil and they can also, uh, or sorry, they get to take two soil or compost or. to two cards from the deck. Moving on to the blue action, this is how you get more sprouts. So if you choose it, you can take uh, six sprouts and spread them out amongst the cards that are already in your display. You have to have space for them, mm -hmm. meaning you have to have cards in your display that actually uh, have space for a sprout token. Yep. And any that you don't have just get wasted. In addition, you also gain two soil. Everybody else gets either two sprouts or two soil. And finally, we have the last action here, which is gets you more cards and gets you growth uh, tokens. Mm -hmm. So if you choose it, you get to draw four cards and you get two growths. Now, you'll also notice that there's another uh, bowl here of colorful canopies. These are just for the top. So once you put the last allowable growth, I guess, on top of a spot, this just caps it off and the colors don't matter. They're just different colors because they're cute. Yeah, that's just a good <laughs> way so you know, like you don't have to work on it. You can quickly look down and be like, that one has reached its max. Yes. Therefore, I don't have to worry about it anymore. Yes, but as you'll see, uh, you can still spend those canopies and trunks to do yep. things depending on what your cards say. Mm -hmm. And everyone else, by the way, um, gets to either draw two cards from the deck or they get two growths. Mm -hmm. After taking that action for the round, and this is for everybody around the table, you don't have to be just the active player, you then get to activate your display. So let me just create a pretend display here. 
And let's say somebody took this action. Maybe I was the active player. After finishing that action, I can activate cards in my display as well as the two cards that I start with on the left-hand side of my player board here. Mm -hmm. And you have to choose between activating these two cards first or your display. So let's just start with these two cards. Um, like we mentioned earlier, during setup, you're going to choose the two cards that you uh, start with. One card is going to determine all of your starting stuff, how much soil you start the game with, how many cards in your hand, etc. Yep. It'll also give you a power. And so, for example, my uh, island card here says I get two additional soil if I chose the blue action. In addition, you also get a, uh, what is this called? A temp, uh, climate, climate. A climate, climate card mm -hmm. that gives you a certain number of points at the end of the game, and it'll just give you a power. So in this case, Mine activates whenever anybody takes the yellow action. So in this example, if the, uh, this yellow action were taken, I can compost two cards from my hand into the compost pile and gain one growth. And anytime I activate these cards, it's always optional, but this is uh, something that's available to me. And then when I activate my display, you have to activate cards um, going from the top left to the right in a downward fashion like this. Like you're reading a book. Yes, like you're reading a book in English. <laughs> that's right, yes, in English. Um, <laughs> and so you're only going to activate the cards that have the color at the bottom that's associated with the action that's being taken. So in this example, yellow is activated. So this action gets activated because it's a um, three color bar, yep. which means it gets activated whenever any of these three colors are taken. And this, by the way, allows me to spend one soil to gain two growths. Going down my display, this would then activate, and this just gets me two sprouts, which is really nice. And then finally, this one, which just gets me two growths. Mm -hmm. And so as you can see, that is how the game is going to be played. We're, we're going to be choosing actions, all resolving the actions, and then activating our displays. Mm -hmm. Now, just a couple more things before we get started. The first thing is we also have these cards called events that we'll sometimes draw from the deck. These have a lightning bolt symbol because they can be played literally at any time. They just cannot interrupt an action that's being uh, taken, mm -hmm. but uh, you can play this on somebody else's turn or on your turn. Uh, it'll show a certain number of points or sometimes minus points sometimes. that you'll get at the end of the game for playing the event card, but then it'll also just give you um, an immediate action that you can take. Mm -hmm. So in this case, this is a flash flood. I can... I can trash four cards from my compost to gain four growths. Mm -hmm. And all event cards get placed uh, here <laughs> yeah. on the left-hand side. That's what that area is for. Yeah, because at the end of the game, you're going to add up or subtract out points depending on what's value is showing there. Yes. And don't forget, every card in your compost is one point. So by having this in here, mm -hmm. you're losing four points technically because you took four out. Yes, that's true. And the last thing are the four fauna cards that we have in the middle here. This is a race. So the first person to reach any of these goals at the end of the turn can take one of their leaf tokens and score the highest available number of points. Mm -hmm. And we'll go over these before we start our gameplay. But if uh, ever more than one person uh, meets the goal on the same turn, then you start with the active player and you go clockwise. Mm -hmm. Now, as soon as somebody finishes their 4x4 display, that triggers the end of the game, and you basically just continue until everyone's had an equal number of turns. Mm -hmm. So you finish out that round, essentially. Then you go into end game scoring. Yep. Something else to note, whoever ends the game is going to score seven points as well. Ah, uh, yes. We need to remember that, yeah. because I never remember that. Yeah. So, Naveen, <laughs> please. I'll try to end it. Please remember that. I'll try to end it. But that's pretty much it. Yep. At that point, whoever has the most points wins. Cool. So, we're just going to go ahead and get cleaned up, and then we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, so we've reset everything. We've shuffled all the cards. Uh, we have our starting resources, which we're going to talk about in a second. Mm -hmm. Just need to figure out who's going to be going first. What do you want to do? Uh, odds and evens. Okay, what do you want? I'll go odds. One, two, three. Odds. It's you. I am first. All right. So I well, will take no, it's this. <laughs> we've learned. We've That's learned. the first player. Well, actually, you get both. I do get both. Yeah. That's right. All right. I well, was definitely gunning for the other one, though. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about our starting stuff, and okay. then we'll talk about the... Uh, the goal cards. Sure. You want to tell us about your well, island? You're, you're going first. Sure. Okay. So uh, I am the uh, Kauai Island mm. here. Um, I started with taking 12 cards from the deck, That's and then I got to compost five out of those. So I have seven cards in hand. Mm -hmm. I also start with six soil. Wow. Um, I have a benefit, though. Anytime a green action is taken, uh, I get plus one card I get to draw from uh -huh. the deck for every card I plant this turn. So it's really, really nice for me to try to plant cards. Is that that specific type? Mm -hmm. That's specifically terrain cards. Right. Okay. Yes. I have Jan Mayan okay. Island. Sorry if I did not pronounce that correctly. This is going to score me eight points at the end of the game. So because I score more points for this, I'm going to have fewer cards in my hand. So I started by drawing five cards, composting two of them, which means I only have three, which mm -hmm. is not ideal. And I have five soil, gotcha. so I'll go ahead and place it here. 
my uh, my ability here says I get a two additional soil if I myself chose the blue action. Okay. And we each also chose this side. These are all double-sided. So right. I chose this side of my climate uh, card, which gives me one point and allows me to um, discard, oh no, allows me to compost two cards from my hand to get a growth. Nice, actually, I didn't uh, tell you about this. Yes, this one, I, I get four points at the end of the game and mm -hmm. anytime a yellow action is activated, I get one soil, ah, a little passive drip. That is nice, that yeah. is a passive drip. So we're gonna try not to take the yellow action. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I'm just kidding. Okay, so our four fauna cards, by the way, these are also double-sided and the game comes with a ton of these. Yep. You only play with four for a standard game, two for the simpler one. And so we have the barn owl here. That is, if you have three or more flora with an animal in their name, then you can score that. Yeah, and the way you can identify the animal in the name is it's underlined on these cards. Mm -hmm. We'll kind of show that when it shows up. I believe there's not that many of them. It says 14% so, uh, we'll of the deck. Wow, yeah. that's not a, lot. not a lot. We have the mountain gorilla that says four or more flora filled with as many sprouts and uh, growths as possible. Mm -hmm. Having no none of, none of either counts as them being filled. So I assume that just means you have to max out a card. You have to right? max out your card and then it has to maintain, they also have to be maintained at that in point. In that moment. Yeah, when you score it. Right. And by the way, after you score these, it's okay that the requirements are no longer true. It just right. has to be true in that moment. Right. Uh, we have the Sri Lankan leopard. And this is seven or more cards with an odd number of base points, the leaf points. Gotcha. So, for example, this is already one towards that. Yeah. Because this is only one point. Zero counts as even, so this does not count towards it, my right. zero. Okay. That is a good uh, clarification. Mm -hmm. The Panther Chameleon says five or more cards, each having two different abilities. So there are going to be cards in the deck that have kind of like, it'll look like this yeah. with two different colors. And those are the two different ability uh, cards. Neither this, of us have This that. is not one of them. This is just your starting resources. Yes, so exactly. that does not count towards it. So those are all the fauna cards. Um, in addition, we also have our ecosystem. Sure. So it's going to be uh, this one that's six points per row with each of the four cards having a different number of sprouts. That's mm -hmm. going to be interesting to try to figure out. This is two points per canopy. And again, canopy is specifically these, the topping, the very top of a of a trunk. Yeah, you want to cap everything off. Yes. And then my personal ecosystem says I get six points per column with four cards, each of a different type. Mm. Uh, that's tough. <laughs> that's, I think it's doable. It is doable. Yeah. It just requires planning. That's the abstract part of the uh, of the display. And yeah. yours? So mine says I get four points for each plant symboled uh, card mm -hmm. <laughs> in one continuous line diagonally uh, adjacent, through diagonally adjacent cards. So wow. Sorry, that was a little confusing. So when we have the four by four grid, it's uh -huh. in my best interest to go like one, two, three, four, uh -huh. and then uh, be able to, I don't know, how, how do you get, it says one to seven. I think you can do it says you can't like backtrack. this, like you can go oh. like one, one, two, uh, I'm So it's like not... one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like I that. think so, like yeah, you just like cannot backtrack. But oh, that is not going to work for my brain, but adjacent. I'm going to go with it. Yeah, I'm surprised you had that. Yeah. Well, okay. there you go. <laughs> okay. So uh, those are all of the things that we need to know before we get started. Are you ready to begin? Yes. All right, Naveen. Well, right. take it away. Yeah, I think the first thing I want to do is I want to plant a card. I have all these cards in my hands. I have some soil, and we are going to go ahead and put this nice. one here. All right, so I'm going to mark to indicate. that action. By the way, this is all done simultaneously. So if right. you play this game at home, then you can all take your actions at the same time. But because we're demonstrating this, we are going to take turns. Yeah. So I can plant up to two cards. Uh -huh. uh, the first one I'm going to plant is this grassland terrain card. Mm. Uh, so this one's going to cost me four soil. It's going to give me two points at the end. And then because this has this symbol, when yeah. I go into uh, activating my engine, uh -huh. I am going to be able to activate this card over here because it's that type. Nice. So this grassland is going to go out into just any spot, really, because yeah. I don't have to assign anything yet next to it. Yeah. Um, and then... But you do have to spend your soil. I do have to spend my soil, <laughs> yeah. So here's the I'm five. I'm watching You're you. Hawkeye. Me. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to be putting out one of these. So this is um, a white, water, white lily. water lily. Yeah. So this one I'm going to place, it's going to cost me two. Uh -huh. It's the last two soil. It nice. gives me nothing, but it gives me some benefits. I yeah. feel like this is a good time to have it out, right? Yeah, that is the the two different abilities. You're one card towards that. I'm one card towards it. And then also, um, you know, I, I'm just trying to get these symbols out because of uh, what this says. So right. I'm just going to put them side by side just like this, and I okay. will figure out my configuration. Sure, later. but those have to be together. Now they are married together. Yes. Exactly. We have white water lilies next to a grassland. And actually, these both count towards this. So we yeah. have one double ability and one double. This one is going to score points at the end of the game, but it still does count towards 
this criteria here. Yeah, because that's a good. brown ability. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you can draw four cards and keep one. Yep. And while you do that, if you don't mind, yeah. I'm just going to play. I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna play a card. Oh, actually, I can do both. I okay. can play a card and and draw a card. Sure. I'm gonna play this card. This okay. is garlic. <laughs> garlic. It costs four soil. It's gonna score me two points, and it it basically just gets me two soil anytime the blue. Sure is chosen. So it also has space for growth. Nice. So these are the four so, cards I drew. I'm keeping this one and then I'm just going to discard these out over here. Nice. Okay. I also get to draw a card. Mm -hmm. So I'm just drawing one and keeping it. Okay. Um, also, before we continue, I'm going to play an event. Okay. So this is a rainbow. Oh. It scores me a point. It just gets me a growth. growth. So I'm going to take this because I have space on my garlic. For three. Or this is maximum three. And it doesn't get me an additional point for maxing it out. It's three points at the yeah, end. Yeah, or... the, what she's talking about is on the far right over here, yeah. it's still one-to-one -one ratio. Some cards you'll see will have a higher ratio than that. Yeah, you like it'll it give you a higher number of points for doing the maximum, for having the maximum number of growths. But this doesn't. There you go. Still just one-to-one. -one. All right, very good. Um, before we continue, we activated the green action. We do. I, do you have an ability. I have this one and that one over there. Okay, I don't have any green abilities, so why don't you go ahead? Okay, so I'm going to activate this board first. Okay. Uh, basically, because I played uh, a terrain type card, uh -huh. um, I get to draw a card for every one that I played. I played one, so I'm going to draw one. Nice. Real simple, real easy. Look at that one. So. Okay, and then the next thing I have is I get to take two sprouts. So we're basically going to assess from this way. The only green one so far I see is those two sprouts. Yeah. So now they're going to go right onto these little box spots right there. Very good. That's me. All right. Mm -hmm. So now it is to me. Yep. And I you am. Get the power. Yeah. I'm going to go blue. Yeah. I'm taking, I, I would like some, uh. I'd like some some soil, soil. <laughs> essentially. So you want to use your leaf? Uh, yeah. What yeah. if you did, forget what action it is? Maybe. Did you want soil or did you want um, sprouts? Oh. Because you're going to get a little combination of. But, That's right. Yeah. And I do have a you lot. You have space for it. Um, you're going to get soil out of this. You're going to get two there plus an extra two. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna and if you chose blue. the action. Yeah. You're going to get a ton of soil. Yeah. yeah. I'm sticking with, with blue. So this is going to give me six sprouts. I actually only have space for five. Nice. Um, and even though this lets you turn in three for two soil, you cannot spend the excess. That's right. It has to be on cards for spending. It has to be yeah. on cards, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to just take five. But I do get two soil. Mm -hmm. uh, I also have two additional blue um, actions that can mm -hmm. activate. This card says if I chose the blue action, I get two soil. Yep. And then in my display, I just get two soil for any time somebody chooses blue. Yeah, mine's going to be pretty simple. Um, I'm, I'm going to take the choice of getting two soil, plus this activation here gets me an extra soil. So one, two, three total. Okay. Uh, let me go and grab those. Very good. Perfect. Okay. So now it's back to you. Oh, wow. It's quick. Yes, okay. it is quick. Especially right. in a two-player game. Yeah, it's a lot quicker. Okay. Yeah. I only have three soil, so I think I want to get some more soil right now. Let's okay. go ahead and move on over to here, this spot. All right. So I'm going to get five soil. Yep. And then from my hand, I can put uh, two cards into the compost, which is essentially uh, two points. Thank you. You're going to compost from your hand? Yeah, I'm going to compost from my hand. Okay. I can take two soil or I can compost <laughs> two cards. Um, no, this is from the deck. Oh, from the deck. Yeah, Perfect. I was like, wait. Nice. That's that's a deck yeah, symbol. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there's a, there's a small little hand here that's from the hand, the right. the the two cards that are kind of overlaid like that is from the deck. So I'm going to take, take two. I'm going to take the soil. Go. So here's two more soil. Okay. And I don't think either of us have the peach, uh, Nobody has an engine, orange, yeah, an engine uh, built there yet. Ability. All right. Okay. Back to me. Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to, to play some cards into my display. Nice. So I'm going to do, it's two cards okay. and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine soil. Sure. All right. So we're doing this action. Yes. I'm going to play both of the cards that I have in my hand. So I'm just going to go ahead and show them to you one at a time. This is the Hardy Kiwi. It cost yeah. me six soil. It's going to be four points. I have a lot of space for growth. Yeah. And it gives me a blue ability. I'm just going to put it, I think, underneath this one because it's a different type. This is like the bush symbol. Yeah. And that's the leaf You're symbol. halfway there to getting six points for that column. Yeah. So I think okay. I'll do the other one too. Nice. This is a balsam fir mm. and it costs three soil. And it gives me a, an ability that I can use whenever somebody takes any of these three actors, nice. which is nice. I'm going to place it in the same column. Okay, so that's a total of nine It's soil? also a different type, Six yeah. plus three, yeah. One, two, three. I think it's all of it. It's everything, right? Yeah, all of my soil. So I know Six, where you're going next. Seven, eight, nine. Where am I going? To get soil. <laughs> there are options. And cards. You have no cards. Well, you're I get, get to get draw four cards and, and choose one, one okay. now. So. Right, so while you do that, I'll take my action. I don't have any green abilities. Yeah. 
I get to play a card and draw one. So I am going to be playing a card that I think is pretty good for us. This is the Hairy Crabgrass. Hairy Crabgrass. It's going to cost me five <laughs> soil, so let's go ahead and spend it. It gets right. uh, six points at the end of the game. It has that symbol that I want, that I want to do that whole diagonal thing. Uh -huh. So I'm going to do it now. Cool. I'm going to put this into play here. And what's nice about the Hairy Crabgrass is we want three or more flora cards that have an animal name on it underlined. That crabgrass is the underlined one. So it's one third of the way there. Hopefully I can find more of those. Mm, okay. So that's going to go right over there. And then I do have some activations. Uh, I'm not going to be able to activate this because I did not play a terrain type. But because I have this one here, I get to put two sprouts onto my um, ecosystem. So nice. one and two. I don't like it. I don't like that you... <sighs> and I got my diagonal thing going. Are synergizing. Which is what this one's. Naveen. Naveen is the current Earth uh, champion of the household. We'll see what happens. You get to draw a card. You do get to draw Unless a card. I forget. All right. Then it is back to you. Back so. to me. Well, seeing as you don't have much resources or anything else going okay. on right now, Not I nice. am going to take this action again. Oh. So I am going to plant some cards. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is this Juniper uh, Polytrichum Moss. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's, it's cute. Yeah, it's going to cost me two soil. It's only worth one point, but we do want odd number valued uh, cards. Yes. So this is my first one, finally. You are synergizing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but it does have that symbol that I'm looking for, that plant symbol. So you can place diagonal, so yes. that is legal. Oh, my gosh. So right now I have one, two, three. I think I need to go one here, here. And then I don't know how else to you do it. You plotting out your display? I'm trying to plot this thing out. Can that... I just interrupt you for uh -huh. a second? Sure. I don't have anything, uh, and I don't have any soil, so clearly I'm just going to draw a card, so okay. I'm just going to do it now, okay? Sure, no All problem. right. So I'm actually only going to be playing uh, one card here, so I don't have enough soil to really do too much. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to get to take a look at four cards and keep one. I'm surprised you chose this action. Well, I just wanted to get some something going here. Okay, I'll keep this one card, and then mm -hmm. I'm going to discard these ones back. Um, I did not, on this turn, I did not plant a terrain, so I don't have to worry about this. But okay. I do get uh, two sprouts growth, so that is good for me. So nice. this one's maxed here, and then now we're trying to go here. There we go. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, so now it is back to me. Yep. I think I'm going to go and take an action that we haven't taken yet. Okay. And it's the yellow action. Getting so, some cards. Yeah, get some cards yep. and some growth. So this lets me draw uh, four cards. Okay. So here we go. Mm -hmm. One, two... Three, four. That's sure. going to be nice. I also get two uh, growths. Mm -hmm. So I have space on all three of these cards, really. Right. I might as well just finish this one. <laughs> Let's max this this out because I, ha I have space for three on that. Right. I'm going to take this and I'll just take a yellow canopy. So now this is a canopy because it's the roof, essentially. I think you're technically supposed to put the color of the band on it. No. I think. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. But what about the double? The double ones. Then you uh, choose. Then you get to choose. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just choose. <laughs> I'm going to make it cute. Um, and so this co is considered a canopy for this scoring. Okay. So if at the end of the game I still have this this hat. If you didn't cut it down. It's two points. Yeah, okay. exactly. Can I just activate my whole thing? Yeah, no problem. All right. So I can choose to do this first, which is uh, getting rid of one of my growths to compost three cards from my hand. Okay. Or I can compost two cards to my hand to get a growth. That is funny. <laughs> Hold on. Well, I don't want to compost my entire hand here. Yeah, you just got all those cards. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm just going to activate this card okay. and not this one. Sure. So this lets me compost two cards from my hand, which I will do right here, these two, Okay. for a growth. So I'm just going to take uh, one of these and place it right there. Nice. All right. Done? That's me, yeah. Okay, so the action I'm going to take, uh, it's an or action, so I'm going to grow. So this one right here, mm -hmm. it uh, can house up to two. So yep. let's go one, and let's also, let's make this a blue top. One, two. So this is capped. Uh, so I'm going to get two points at the end of the game for this. Uh, okay. And then also it counts as one of these canopies. Canopy. Um, so because this is the yellow actions, I'm going to activate this. So I get a soil, and then I activate this one right here first. So uh, two soil. Two soil, yep. There you go. Perfect. All right. Okay, nice. Back to you, Naveen. Mm -hmm. Well, now that I have an ability to uh, to kind of activate in this engine here, mm -hmm. I am going to go ahead and get ourselves some soil. So I'm going to get myself five soil, and then I'm going to take uh, two compost from the top of the deck. So let me grab myself five soil. So are we doing it from the deck? Have we decided? Um, you know, because sometimes if you if you can remember your cards, yeah, 
Uh, some cards allow you to take from the compost, yeah. so maybe just to keep it as fair. And so do it from the deck. Do it from the deck. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we have decided we're composting yeah. from the deck. That's yeah. how it's uh, meant to be played. I think it's in in higher player. Like if yeah, you're playing yeah. with five and everybody's composting, the that decks are going to shrink. You're going to have to shuffle. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Okay, so now I'm going to activate this right here. This says I can compost up to three from mm -hmm. my hand. I'm just going to do two because I okay. don't want to. I don't want to be too thin on cards. So two's going to go into the compost section, mm -hmm. and then now that is all of me. All right. Yeah. So I'm just going to take soil. Yeah. So that's two soil, and I'm not going to activate this ability. This is my only other uh, red one. This okay. is, I don't, I didn't start the game with many cards in my hand. Yeah. So uh, the ability to compost cards from my hand is not really one I'm going to be taking much yeah. okay. right now. <laughs> yeah. that's so I think that's it, right? That's it, yep. Okay, so now it's back to me. I'm going to get uh, some soil with... See, I get five here. Well, no, the blue one gets me more soil because I get six. Yeah, because you get funny. two, two, yeah. two. So yeah. you know that blue is always going to be a little bit better for me right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. So I'm doing the blue action. So it's yep. going to be six sprouts. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these will go... I'm just going to place them... I just know I'm going to take two soil, so I'm just going to grab two soil as my action. Okay. So that was six sprouts. I get two soil for that. And then I activate my tableau. So I'm going to do this one because I chose the blue action. I get two plus two is four. So I'm going to take a five. Okay. Get back one. And then this says I can, uh, <laughs> I have a hard time with the symbols sometimes. Okay. This is you can, composting. You can lose two cards yes. from your compost right. in order to uh, put out four sprouts. To put out four sprouts. So you would be maxed. Nah. I, I will say it. Uh, one of the cards wants us to be completely max, right? Yeah, but I have time. You have some time. And I don't even have the fourth card Not that yet, it yeah. would require me to have That's to fair. do that. All right. Okay, so That's I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to activate... So I already took the two soil. Yep. Uh, I'm going to activate this one, right? We're reading like a book. Yep. So I'm going to get one soil plus here I can get uh, one sprout mm -hmm. on each of these uh, symbol, uh, the leaf symbol okay. cards <laughs> uh, in this row. I only have one in this row, so it's just going to get me one. There you go. Did you get me the sprout? I did. I'm not the I sprout. Put a, the soil. I put a soil in there. There we go. Um, all these types have names. I'm sure they do. For now, we're going to go with bush, tree, and leaf. Yes. What do you think? I, I like it. Yeah. All right. Well, it's back to you, Naveen. Sure. What would you like to do? Okay. And I was actually close. This is a, a herb. Herb. <laughs> okay, I got all the soil. Time to plant some cards. Let's go ahead and come on over and take this action here. Uh, all right. Not time? Not yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, not yet, okay. I am going to plant uh, two terrain type cards right now. Okay. So, I got to make sure I, I remember how to get my diagonal going. So, I definitely don't want to put one here, here, or here. Mm -hmm. And then I have to be cognizant. We want uh, to have, what was the one? We want different... Um, Which one? Having to do with what? This one right here at the end. We, we want your rows to have a different values of sprout abilities does that make sense <laughs> yeah. like different numbers of sprout capacity sprouts. so i got to be careful so, with the way i place these because yeah, yeah. this one has one two three four five on it zero counts as one uh -huh. so i definitely do not want to terrain up here because then it would it would say it would no have another it would zero. be zero and zero so it yeah. wouldn't work uh so these both are going to cost me two each so mm -hmm. it's going to be uh five goes in one comes back mm -hmm. um and so I'm just going to go, and they're worth a nine and five points, mm -hmm. which are odd numbers. We want to get some odd numbers out there. So I'm going to place this one here. Uh, and that basically says all my fungi cards now cost one less soil. Any, okay. Anytime I place a, a fungi card out, it's going to be one less. Uh, Ooh, and then this nice. one, the solidified magma, all these uh, rock type cards. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know the exact uh, names. Um, the, gonna, habitat? the habitat type is okay. going to cost one less as well. So I'm going to get another one like that. And okay. this one, I'm just going to toss right over here so I'm, I'm creating my boundaries yeah so you're gonna you're gonna finish your display <laughs> so, i only have three cards so i have one two three odd cards okay towards the seven we need over here yeah so now then, the question is did you pay your soil i did pay my soil oh, you i did? spent my five and i got one back you have so much soil yeah. uh, i do get to draw four and then keep one wow what in the world? Okay, Three, are you done? Four. Yeah, that's... Well, I'll be activating, uh, but you can go ahead and take your action while I decide on these cards. Okay, well, I'm going to play one card because okay. Naveen's freaking me out with all <laughs> these cards here. I'm going to play a terrain card. This is Pasture. So it does give me a double ability. I'll be able to gain a growth right now, really. And then also, um, I'm going to get three points per herb... A type card that's mm -hmm. orthogonally adjacent to this terrain. Oh, nice. So this is going to cost me two soil... And I'm definitely going to want to place it here yeah. because this is where my 
herb is now. you can still technically place it. You haven't established so the fourth. I haven't established the fourth uh, row, yeah. right? Because so I can, can place it down here, up here. Yeah. So I can choose to just place it up here. Right. So there's that. That's my one card, and I get to draw a card. Okay. I'm so gonna... can I just activate my green abilities? Because sure. I only have one. Yeah, I'm just going to keep this card and toss these back. So go ahead. Okay. So my one green ability is here, and it lets me gain a growth. Okay. So I'm going to place a growth where do I, this doesn't have any growth or sprout uh capacity so that means it's considered complete for uh for this purpose right here yes and it, it's also considered a different number for that one for that one yeah okay so i'm gonna place this here nice all right okay so i do have some greens because i planted two terrain types mm -hmm. uh this round mm -hmm. or this action i'm gonna draw two cards so okay. it's one Two nice. and then uh, because I have this one here, um, I get, get two, two sprouts. sprouts. Wow! So Indian. let's just keep it going. Looking good. Good. Two sprouts over here. <sighs> what am I doing Oops. with my life? I don't know. And I think we misspoke about this card. This is specifically for flora cards. So mm. these terrains that we all oh, right. have, yeah. they're it's not counting towards, towards the four as completed because they, they come basically completed with zero and zero on yes. it. Yes, you are the bearer of bad news, Naveen. I, okay, I, the reason I'm why joking. I said that is because I would have it right now with these uh, terrains. Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm going back to blue. Yeah. Blue is my current Blue's best your, friend yeah, action at the there, moment. Huh? It's the most bang for my buck. Um, Sounds like I it. I feel like I'm button mashing in an arcade <laughs> game, right? Yeah. So this is going to be six sprouts, which, oh, actually, before I do that, okay. I could get rid of, because I'm i going to get rid of three. You're going to you're gonna do this for uh, yeah. your exchange. Yeah. One, two, three, and I get two soil, two soil yep. because it gives me um, six, and I wouldn't have had space, space. for all That's six. That's exactly so why that you makes, do that, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and... I also get two soil, mm -hmm. but really it's going to be two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Just six. Oh, what am soil. I doing? Yeah. yeah, six soil. Yeah, that's a good way to get it. Yeah. All right. And Ooh, I'm not going to do this either. I value both of these actions, um, sprouts and... Well, it says or, Naveen. It says or. Maybe I should go take that action at some point. Maybe. Um, maybe I should. <laughs> maybe you should. What am I doing? You could do it next. I could. Don't let your dreams be dreams, right? So knowing that I could do it next, you're right. I will take two soil. Oh, so okay. So I just want to load up on as much soil because soil is your buying power. It's true. Right? If I'm trying to push it. That's right. Then I, I want to have soil in my hands. Okay, so then I get to activate. I get another soil. Yeah. And then right here, I get to put a sprout on each one of these Herbs? Yeah. Herbs, yes. Herbs. In this row, which would be one. One. You All already right. gave me the sprout. <laughs> Leafy leaf, no good. I, I keep reading moss, and I want to say moss for the herb. You can call it a leaf. Exactly. I think everybody gets it now. They get it. <laughs> back to you. Right, back to me. You know what? Um, huh, if, but if I take if what? I take it, you get how much? You Soil? only get two less, right? Uh, yeah, this is only if I choose the blue action. If you get it, I would get two. Yeah. Uh, I would get two soil. It's not a lot of four soil. I'll do it. Okay. Let's go ahead. I'm going to come on over here. So I'm going to get six sprouts. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, before I do this, you're going to spend three. I'm going to spend three. Okay. Three's going out. So which oh, I can. Three's going back. Three's coming back. So you're spending three to take. To take two, two soil. soil. Okay. There you go. Yep. There and then. Soil. And then now you take the six yeah. for taking the action. And then you gave me two soil earlier. I don't remember. I don't think you did. I don't think. Yeah. Well, if I did. Then Here's the moment. Here you go. All right, Naveen. perfect. You are soil rich. Thank you. <laughs> I am. All right. He does have the green thumb between the two of us. I do. I keep. I the, like to. I keep the house plants alive. I collect the plants and he maintains. I them. water them. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Okay. Uh, do you want me to activate? Uh, um, it's the same thing. I get a soil and then I get to put one on this card right here. Sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Take a soil. I don't think I did any of my stuff yet. I don't think you right? did anything. Okay. No. Perfect. Yeah. Starting to lose track. Yeah. Okay, are you done, done? I am done, done. All right, well, as seeing as I don't have any space for uh, sprouts, I'm just going to take all soil. So two, four. Uh, no compost? Spending, no. No, that's it, just four soil. Two, yeah, because you, you don't need, because, uh, yeah, you don't need sprouts. I don't need sprouts, exactly. Yeah. And then doing either of these actions will require me to spend points, mm -hmm. and I don't have any cards in my hand. It's not a, I, I'm in a very uh, kind of tight situation at the moment. I think you got to go take the yellow action. I think I have to go take the <laughs> green action. Okay. Here we go. Sure. So I'm doing that. Okay. I'm going green. So I'm going to play these two cards. Okay. I have the African mustard. <laughs> nice. 
uh, two points and it gives me a red ability. But more importantly, this is an herb type card, which I'm going to be able to place here because it fits this. It also has a different number of sprouts that it can hold than this. I'm trying to make some stuff work. Yeah, sure. I also have the Slippery Jack. This is a <laughs> mushroom type. So it's Sounds like funny. it's going to be the fourth type in this column. So I'm just going to go ahead and place that. Uh, no, not there. Up here, right? Um, sure. Or Because you want different types, right? I do, but now I'm thinking maybe I place it here. I um, place it there. Yeah. Because it has a different number of sprouts. So, and that's that's uh, having to do with that and card. And you still haven't established your full 4x4. Four four, the four, so, the yeah. fourth one is going to be up it's here. It's going to be up there, because you want to surround this one with uh, that type, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's hard to, to consider everything. Yeah, me. that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to consider it all. So, anyway, that was a total of seven soil. So, five, six, seven. Okay. And then I get to draw four cards. Keep one. And keep one. And then the only green ability that I have is this one, to which grow. is gaining me a, a growth. Yeah, so yeah, which actually, which you can just do right away. I'm going to cap out this because it can only hold three. Yeah. So, when it's maxed out, it gives me four points. So, you have two, two cards two. maxed out, correct? Yeah. As of right now? Two cards with canopies. I have. Um, well, because this one says you want cards maxed out, so you have two completely maxed out. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. And I think I only have one completely maxed out. Oh, good. Yeah. You need four? Four. Fantastic. And while you pick those cards, I'm going to go ahead and uh, decide which one I want to play. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this card, uh, the Honey Fungus. It's only going to cost me um, one soil. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is because this terrain over here says all fungi cards cost one less soil. Uh, okay. 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 Nice. So instead of paying two, it's going to pay one. Uh, this one I'm just going to slip right over here, and I like this because it's 0, 4, 5. Whatever is going to go either here or here mm -hmm. is going to, um, I'm going to want a different number of right. league symbols on there. Nice. How many cards do you have? Oh my gosh. Um, I have seven. Okay, I have um, one behind. 16. Right? I'm keeping this, by the way, and tossing okay. the other three. I do get to draw one just off the top of the deck. Okay. No decisions. Anything else, Naveen? Uh, that's it. So uh, just as a... A quick count, I have one, two, three, four odd number valued cards um, of the seven as required for the Sri Lankan. Level. Oh, are you keeping those goals in mind? I'm keeping because every I single sure goal don't. in mind. <laughs> I sure am not. Every you last have seven? one. I have, I, when I have four oh, towards sorry. seven, yeah. Oh, okay. I have one, two, three. Three. <laughs> so you're definitely beating me there. I still have not played uh, an animal card. Have you found? I have one hairy crabgrass. Oh, you have the crabgrass one. According to that. this card here, only 14% of the entire deck yeah, has this capability. That's uh, quite unfortunate capability. for us. And I do have to activate uh, my sprout growth here because we played the green action. Okay. So, and that's the only one. I did not play a terrain. All right. So these two. So seeing as we want to complete cards, I'm going to go ahead and place this one here. And then really, honestly, I don't have that many more. I'm going to put that there. I'm actually going to not put that there because this one will sprout itself. Okay. So I don't want to do that. Yeah. Okay, so now it's to me. All right, I think it's time for me to grow and get some more cards. So I'm going to go over here. Uh, okay. I get to draw four cards. One, two, right. three, and four. And then I get to do a double growth. So I'm going to go one and then cap it off two. That's it. Nice and easy. So I can draw two cards or... Uh, yeah. I'm going to do the growth. Okay. Uh, my yellow activation is very simple. It's uh, get one soil, get one soil. That's it. So two soil... Um, let me see. Is this a five right here? Actually, this, this, this caps. Does it? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to go with the green. Nice. So I'm putting these three back. Very good. And I'm sorry. I was wrong here. This only has a max one. So the, it itself is its own canopy. Okay. And then same thing here. I just realized, um, I looked at the two as a, as that the value. It's mm -hmm. actually just a one here. And this one, I'm going to cap that one as well. So that is going to be. So just the canopy. Just the canopies. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Wait, so that's it. You did it. Did. Oh, no, no. You just need... I need to fill this you in. You need sprouts. Oh, the And stress. I need one more right over here also. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Next action. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Hold on. No. Actually, can I change my mind? Okay. Can I put them here? Mm. I'm going to do... Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm going to put them both here. What are you doing, money? All right. I think that's it, right? Yep. Okay. So it's back to me. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to choose yellow as well. Yellow. It's enough. Enough is enough. enough I yes. need more cards in my hand. So I'm going to draw four. Okay. One, two, three, four. I can take two growths. Okay. I know for a fact I cannot grow, so I'm just going to take the two cards and be done with that. Okay. 
So here's. And then running my engine is just uh, two oh. um, two soil. So I'm just going to take two soil. And, okay. And I am completely done with my turn. Uh, I can compost. Yeah, I'm going to do it. And so again, I am activating this uh, ability here, which says I can compost two cards from my hand okay. to gain a growth. Nice. So I'm going to gain one of these into here. And again, I'm not going to, I'm not going to activate this ability, which is the only other yellow ability that I have. Gotcha. So, all right. Now it is your turn, Naveen. Okay. You know, I have all this soil, all these cards. I think it's time to go ahead and plant some cards. Mm. So I'm going to plant two cards and I'm going to plant these two cards. So one is going to cost me nine and the other one is going to cost me three. Uh, none of my terrains give me discounts on these. So okay. uh, that's a shame, unfortunately. <laughs> so uh, I will go ahead and put, I'm going to start now. I'm going to form my uh, four by four. So let me pay the nine and three. So that's 12, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, that all goes there. Mm -hmm. So now I have to slide these over just a little bit because I am establishing my um, my your, fourth spot. Your dominance. My dominance. <laughs> so that's going to go right in there. Okay. What's good about this is we have zero, four, five, and six in terms of the sprouts. Mm -hmm. So that's perfect for this. That That is definitely going to score that row. Mm -hmm. um, what else do we have here? The next one that I played is going to be uh, this one right here. So this one is going to be worth one, two, oh. Uh oh, that's five. That's not good. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, bum, bum, bum. I can place it here, and okay. that will be fine. That could be that. That'll be fine. Okay. Um, because it's <laughs> one, two, three, four. It's, it's okay. Five. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> five zero six. So okay. then now I just need this to be some other number than any of those numbers. Okay. Um. Okay. And then, uh, did you want to take your action? But oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> You chose that. Um, here I was. Yes, I'm definitely going to play a card, but I was just trying to figure out what card to play. Because okay. I have 11 soil. I guess I'll play this card. This is the Tiger Orchid. That's right. Oh, I found, found a card one. that has an animal in its name. Good it's you. a Tiger Orchid. So it costs 7 soil. So here's 10. Okay. I'll take back 3. And it gives me a nice uh, blue ability, which nice. gets me 2 sprouts when that ability is chosen. Nice. So I'm going to place this, I think, here, since it has a 2 uh, sprout, sprout capacity. requirement capacity. Yeah. So now it's all different here. Cool. So Okay, so of the 4, that. I'm keeping this one. These 3 go away. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to activate my engine. Did not play a terrain, mm -hmm. but I do get uh, 2 sprouts. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Uh, let's just do it now, because I'm a little... Uh, I'm a little nervous about when I'm going to get these completed. So I'm going to go one, two, just like that. Okay. I'm close. I'm closing in on the, the four completed cards. It's a race. It's a race. Are you almost there? I'm almost there. What are you doing? Are you done? Uh, all of your that green? was everything, yeah. Okay, because I have a green activation. I okay. think it's just this card still, which just gets me one growth. Oh, so did you do it? I'm going to cap. I'm going to cap that right there. did it. No, I haven't done it yet. Oh, you didn't? This still requires me to put sprouts. So, okay. so guess what I'm doing? Turn. Yeah, you're going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to go to blue. That's fine. So blue is the action, Naveen. Blue is the action, you say. Six sprouts. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, mm -hmm. which I'll go one, two. And then the four of them will go here. I also get two soil. Right. So let me get the two soil. And then I get a bunch more soil. So it's two, three, four. Um, hmm. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to skip over that. Okay. So really it's just four, <laughs> four more soil. And then I also get this uh, newcomer ability down here, the tiger orchid, which gets me two more sprouts. Okay. So I'm just going to get two more sprouts from that for that. I also have the slippery jack, which lets me spend two cards from my compost to take three more soil. The slippery jack. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me just see if I actually need that. You know, I think I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to activate the Slippery Jack. So I'm spending two cards from my compost, which is not great, but it gets me three soil. So I can at least do a lot with that. Yeah, sure. One, two, three. All right, go ahead. Okay. Well, so did you claim the... Uh... I will after the at the end of the turn. At the end of the turn, okay. Yeah. So this is uh, going to be this one over here. Yes. So I Sprouts will. Sprouts or soil? I think I'm going to have to take. I'll take soil. Let's take soil. Two soil. Yeah. Okay. Soil is how you play cards. 
All right. Are you going to activate anything else? Uh, yeah. So um, here we go. So I get one soil. Uh huh. Um, I get one key, um, sprout? sprout in each mushroom, mushroom column. That column. So just the one. Yeah. So which is going to be it itself. Okay. So let me get to either two soil before I forget. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. Um, and then, uh, so I did this one, this one. Uh, you gave me two soil? Why, why did you? Oh, this, is that for this? Oh, sorry. One soil. One huh? soil. Yeah. One, one soil, soil for that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for being honest. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to activate this? Um, this one. Spend a sprout to draw a card. I will not do that. Okay. Um, and then this one right here, I can lose two from my compost to get two soil and uh, a sprout. A sprout. What do you think? You're the act. Okay. So this is the moment that this is probably the best time to, to discuss this. You're the active player, right? right? So we said on ties, the active player gets priority here. Yes. Because if I was to spend two here, I would get two soil, yes, and then I would get that last sprout to say one, two, three, four total cards are completed. Yeah. But you've also completed four I've cards. I've completed right? four cards. These okay. four. Okay. So um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that right now because okay. I forgot this card itself. Uh, <laughs> you get one cube on each uh, leaf type uh, or each uh, herb type. Oh it's yeah. It's gonna do it itself. There so, you go. There you, go. So you get two sprouts. So we are all that show explanation. That. For all that explanation for <laughs> wasting everybody's time. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah. Well, that is the end of the turn. I'm I have excited. completed. So we have the mountain gorilla over here, mm -hmm. uh, which says for four or more flora filled with as many uh, sprouts and growths as possible. So basically maxing them out. Yep. And this is, again, this is flora, not terrain. So I have these four that yeah. I've maxed out. So you the could... way you know is all canopies are showing. Yep. All and canopies. all cubes are maxed yes. on the cards. And all the cubes so are did. maxed yep. on the cards. So I get to place my leaf here. At the end of the game, I'll score 15 points. But yeah. you're not too far off. I because... did the exact same thing on the same time. So I have canopy, 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 no canopy here. Mm -hmm. uh, max, max, max. So I also am going to get there. So I'm down by four points on that. Yeah. And even though you don't have a canopy here, this doesn't actually have the ability to hold growth. Yeah. So this still counts. It's like basically having a zero card, exactly. right? Yep. Okay. Let me just mm -hmm. take a look. So this one's, okay, two different abilities. I have two. Do you still have two? No, you have three. I have three of them, yeah. Okay, this is seven or more cards with an odd numbered points, including these, right? I think so. So one, uh-oh, three. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Sorry. The odd numbered odd, points? Odd number at? points, I have one, two, three, four. Okay, and four. I still have just the one, the one animal and you have this odd number. Did you count that one? Yeah, okay. I did. Yeah, <laughs> Trust me, yeah. I did. Like, oh, I'm looking. Yeah. All right. Well, now it is your turn. All right. Um, I think, how much sprouts? One, two, oh, not sprouts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine. Okay, let's Four. go ahead and we're going to plant two cards. Uh, okay. And how did I know? How did I know you were going to do this? <laughs> so I have the... So these are the two cards that I'm going to put into play. Mm -hmm. uh, this cinnamon tree is going to cost five, but because I have the terrain type that gives uh, me a discount, it's yes. only going to cost four, and okay. this one costs me nothing. Oh, okay. That's really nice. Yeah. So uh, The mountainous, I yeah, think it's what it is. The mountain one. Yeah. One, two, three, four. It's worth four points total at the end of the game, but if you notice, it's odd number, odd number. Mm. So we got two more odd numbers <sighs> uh, in play. You're and... finding some good cards here. Yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to always have cards in hand, so uh, I need to now put these in spots that are going to make mathematical sense. So this one is going to go here. Okay. Uh, so now this is the six zero. No, this is five zero six three. So that's going to be satisfied there and there. Okay. And then this one is five zero four is going to go there. So that's good for me. All right. Awesome. Well, I'm going to play a card okay. as well. Uh, you get to draw four cards and yes, choose your thank one. Yes, By the way. Um, I think I'm going to play this card. This is the red caped uh, scaber stock. stock. Okay, it's a mushroom. Okay. <laughs> it costs two soil, and I'm just going to plop it down. I think I'm going to just set my my four columns. I don't know if this is too visible, so I'm going to move. You have to move everything upwards. I'm going to shift everything. This is not going to be pretty. I'm just going to do some rearranging. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have created my. I have my my uh, my columns now. Okay. So I cannot go any taller than this, but I can go wider. So that's the card that I played. I also get to draw a card. So let's do that. And um, uh, while you're choosing your card, yep. I'm just going to do my one green activation, which growth. is gaining a growth. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. Perfect. I'm going to go over here because if I can if I can max this out with two, it'll give me four points. Four points, yeah. It's double my money. Okay, I'm going to keep this card, discard these three, and this card that I'm keeping, mm -hmm. Earthquake. It's an event. You oh. can play it at any time. 
uh, it doesn't it doesn't give me any points, so I'm gonna have to cut down uh, some stuff over here. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna have Your to trees? cut down some canopies, which is oh, not good. Oh, this is not good. Canopies are <laughs> two points at the end, but it's gonna net you three because you get to compost five from the deck. Actually, now that I think about it, do I want to do this? I can regrow. Let's just do it. So I'm gonna lose two here. Yeah. One, two. It's a spirit. No, not Mother from nature. here. Two go from here. <laughs> yeah. So I'm cutting down one, yeah. two. Um, and then composting five and from the composting deck. Five, yeah. I'm gonna give you five. Actually, I'm gonna keep this one. And take this one, one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Um, thank you. You're Appreciate welcome. It. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now I get to activate my uh, my engine. Uh, I did not play a terrain, but I do get uh, two sprouts. Very good. Two sprouts for points. So let's go ahead and just tuck these anywhere really. Oh, so you have eleven cards. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh oh. Whew. That's me. It's getting stressful. Yeah. Are you done? Uh, that was everything, yeah. All right. Well, it is back to me. And I think I have to try to catch up to Naveen in terms of cards. So Playing I will game. also play cards. That is the name of the game. Yeah. In the rule book, it says that's how you score the most points. You got to play cards. Get the cards so out there. I only have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven sprouts or soil, sorry. Okay. So I'm going to play, um, I'm going to play these two. So this is a cute one, the dragon sprouts. It looks like it can be any of the four types there. Yeah. It does cost me eight soil, but it also is a double ability. Oh yeah, it says here, counts as all flora types when scoring. Gotcha. That's yeah. nice. Um, oh wow, this is, I like this card, because the red ability says I can copy one red ability from my island. Nice. And I can, I can change it every time I use it. So that's cool. And I'm also going to play the Winter Daphne. So this is going to be a total of nine soil. Five, six, uh, I'll put the eight plus one. Seven, okay. yeah, eight, nine. How many double abilities do you have now with that in play? What, with this one? Yeah. Is that two? No. Three. <laughs> Don't tell me short. One, ah. two, three. Okay. What do we need? We're looking for five? Yeah, you're looking for five. Okay. Well, this I'm going to place here because in case I don't find another herb, this will count. That'll count, yeah. Yeah. And place... you've already established your borders. That there. Yeah, and it's also a different number of uh, sprouts. Yep. Yeah, and I'm going to place this I'm one here. Green action. I don't think that that matters too much. Okay. All right. So I played my two cards, so I'll go ahead and draw four. And let me just do my ability now as well, okay. because it's just the one growth sure. again. Yeah. Uh, so, all right. Oh, Doing actually, it. just caps it. Capping it. There you go. It's worth four points now. Yeah. All right, Naveen. It's a good card. Thank you. All right, the one <laughs> card I'm going to play, this is a good one for me. I think this one is going to max out this card right now. So it's going to be... Uh, it's going to cost two, but I do get a discount on those mountain terrain types. So it's only going to cost one sprout, or not sprout, um, uh, soil. This one does not give me any points, unfortunately, but it is a double ability. Uh, it has two sprouts, which is exactly what I need over here. What's the number for you? Uh, this one is number 12 total. So oh, the, sorry, of the double abilities. Uh, that's number four. So one, <sighs> two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. So I just need one more. I'm uh, keeping this card, by the way. Okay. Discarding these. And then, um, so going back to this card over here, mm -hmm. I get four points for uh, herb, herbs that are in a diagonal mm -hmm. uh, without backtracking, but you can switch directions. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, <gasps> seven. You did it. So, yeah. So I was able to go through it and I was able... That's 28 points. 28 points. Wow. So, so this is max now. I don't have to focus on that card anymore. I'm done. That's what I, I said. I was like, <laughs> I'm going to go on this and then try to make everything else happen at the same Game time. Game over. Um, okay. So, <laughs> so that's that. And then now I get to activate my green. I did not play a terrain. I do get two sprouts. Okay, so let's go ahead and just... This is feeling plop one. inefficient. <laughs> And uh, two. Oh, well, I, I get to draw a card also as part of this action. You know, it's okay because my plants are beautiful. They are nice. They are so. I I do. I love plants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love nature themes. Yeah. I really do. Uh, well, that's it. That's so it. It's, now it's back to you, Naveen. Okay. What would you like to do? Okay, I think I'm gonna go and draw some more cards and then also do some growth. Over okay. Here, so with the yellow, so I'm just gonna draw four cards off the top of the deck mm -hmm. and then take two growth. I am just gonna choose to draw two cards. Okay, so perfect. let's do that. Mm. All right, uh, and then you're gonna take your growth? Yeah, two growth. So this one's looking nice. If I can get three here, it's worth four points. If I can get four here, it's worth five. So I think three to get four seems pretty good. So one, two, just do that. I get to activate. So I have soil one, two, so two soil, 
Okay. And then I can uh, get rid of a card for another soil. I think I'll just take the two soil. You get rid of a sprout. I'm sorry, a sprout uh, okay. for two soil. I, I won't do that. Okay. Uh, going down here, I can compost from my hand, and I think I definitely want to do that. So I'm going to compost these two. Okay. And then I get another two soil here. So we have ways to get soil. Very good. That's good. All right, back to you. All right. Um, well, uh, what was this? Yellow? Yellow, yeah. All right, I was kind of in my own land there. <laughs> I already do the two cards. You did draw the two cards, yeah. But I can compost two cards from my hand. So I will do these two. It's worth points. It is, and I get a growth for that. So I'm going to start working on this because this has a max size of six. And if I can max it out, it'll give me 10, 10 points. 10 points, yeah. Okay. That's nice. Uh, okay. Do I have any other yellow? I can get rid of one oh, to compost more, three more cards. I'm just going to do this. So okay. two soil. <sighs> it's mm -hmm. tough. Tough out here. Tough huh? times right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, done? Uh, yeah, that was me. I think I'm just going to go and I'm going to play two cards. Okay. So green action. And I'm going to play these two. So I have the giant bearded fig and the wild syringa. <laughs> okay. So they're very cheap. They're just two soil. And I really just wanted to do this. So I can claim another fauna card. Seriously? That's right, Naveen. <laughs> I'm going to do it too. Uh, where do I put oh. them then? Let's see. They're both the tree symbol. What do I want? <laughs> I think I'll put this here. And, oh, they both have to be in different columns. That's good. Let's see, this has four, five. I'm just going to finish this one out here. Is this for the odd numbers that uh, you're doing? It's because, yeah, the odd numbers is what I'm going to be claiming. Dang. So this says I can pay all or some of this flora's cost with growth instead mm -hmm. of a soil. That's fine. I already did. I already paid the soil for it. It's only one soil. Right. So that's mm. that. Uh, I'm going to draw four cards. And then still the only green ability I have is this one. So I'm going to go ahead and add a growth there. And then you can go ahead and take your turn while I choose which <sighs> card to keep. Dang, that's nice. Well, I was going to do the same thing, but now I guess I don't have a, the pressure to, to now do it because you're going to get it first because mm. you're the active player. I'm keeping this card. Okay. So now my turn is fully done. Okay, so I think I'm going to play this card. It's going to cost me six. I get no discounts on this particular one, okay. but uh, it's worth four points. So I might as well do it. So yeah. one, two, three. Nice. Four, five, and six. Whoops. There we go. Okay. And then I'm just going to play. Now I have to establish my, my borders here. So... I think if I play it here, that should be just fine. I don't have to move anything around, and it'll work. All right. Okay, that's me. Done? Uh, yes. Oh, and then I get to draw a card, which is always good. Yes, that's right. Um, and then... Your green abilities, was that that was not a terrain type? Not a terrain type, but I get to put two... Uh, two sprouts. Two sprouts out. Two points. Good. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. And then I don't... You're going to claim this, right? Yes, that's yeah. right. Okay. I have seven or more cards with an odd number of points. Mm -hmm. It's this one. So that's one, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very which good. is bad because a lot of them are one point, which means <laughs> I might not yeah. be scoring very many points here. But here we go. That's true. And that's it. So now it's back to you. And we're getting to the end here. Yeah. Because you have 13. 13, 13 yeah. cards, we need 16, so I, more cards. I'm hunting. I'm I'm hunting for something here. But, oh, okay. so I'm, I'm, thematic. The only way I can do it is <laughs> go here. So I'm going to draw four and then uh, grow for two. So one, okay. two, So I can three, grow or two, draw. Four. Okay. I'm going to grow. I think I'm just going to grow for You're two. just going to grow its points, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to grow one. I'm going to grow as well. This two. One and... Two. There we go. Uh, and then... You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put the one-on-one -on -one canopy. This makes more sense because they're worth two points at the end of the game. Okay. Do you want to activate your... Uh, my yellow? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, okay. I'm going to get one, two soil. Okay. There you go. Um, I think I will cut down something. A sprout? A sprout. In or order two to more? Two more. That's what that says. Okay. What else? Um, I won't activate that one. Okay. I am going to put two cards into, into my compost? compost, and then oh. I'm going to get two more. Naveen! Oh, yeah. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, two my more compost. soil. Yeah, and two this more is, soil. We're just going through the motions. Naveen is going to win this game, so... <laughs> compost. Because every card I'm in here so is worth done. a point. Yeah. What is going on? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know if you did a sleight oh, of hand. We'll see. I have we'll... not been watching. <laughs> like, he never paid soil ever. It's like, and he never paid cards. <laughs> Oh, um, this is ridiculous. Okay. All right. Well, are you done? Uh, I think so. Yeah. All right. Well, I have to activate mine. I'm not doing that. 
can't spend any more points is what this means. Yep. Um, I'm just going to go all the way down to this where I get another growth. Okay. And then I am going to gain two soil. Nice. So boom, boom. There's that. All right. Okay. Back to me. Yep. I'm going to go to blue because I need some stuff. Blue. Okay. So six sprouts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, which I'm just going to litter everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six. I get to soil and then I can activate my blue abilities. So two more soil because I chose the action. Okay. It's been a while. Here, I'll just take five and give back three. I get two more soil. So let's take that. I can spend two of these to take four. I mean, I guess that makes sense now, right? Sure. Because... I, it just nets me. Oh, wait, actually, I don't have space for four more sprouts, so I won't do that. Okay. I'll leave that. Um, I get two two sprouts from this card, so that makes sense. And then what else? I'm not going to do that. I can spend, okay, I can spend two of these to gain more soil, to gain three more soil. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm going to spend two of these cards. Okay. To gain three soil. So, all right, that's so that's, that's all everything. of my cards. That's everything. everything. So yeah. Okay. What what are you gonna do? Let's see. So I think I'm just gonna take two sprouts. That seems pretty good for me. Okay. Um, let's just place them anywhere really. One, two. Let's mm -hmm. do that. Okay. Uh, and then now I do have some activation, so I can spend one soil. How much soil do I have? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. I'll spend one soil. Okay. Uh, to get three sprouts that's three points so yeah there you go do it. so let's just put them on this one why not one two three okay the next one get a soil uh let's go ahead and get myself a soil mm -hmm. uh this one i can cut down in order to get two i'm, I'm not going to do that okay uh, then this one says get one sprout on each of this type in this row i only have one in that row okay there you go um one on each mushroom in this uh column any more mushrooms in this column? No, there's not. Oh, and that's already maxed out. Uh, this one, I am not going to do this composting. Um, and then this one, though, I do. I get one on this herb in this row. So, so. this one? Yeah. Okay. Wow. What What were you doing to get so many cards in your compost? Um, I was taking... Uh, where Where is it? I, I have some. Ah, this one right here. That's something. And then I started a game with five. In your compost? Yeah. And then I did this one right here, the earthquake event. Wow. So I was able to get some stuff in there. Amazing. Yeah. That is, I mean, you have half the deck in there. We're <laughs> yeah. not going to find anything yeah. at this yeah. point. All right. Well, it's back to you. All right. I think I have a nice turn coming. Uh, so you're I... You're not going to end the game, are you? I can't play three cards, but I can, I can claim two fauna. <gasps> so let's go ahead and get myself some plants out there. So I'm going to play out uh, two cards. Okay. So I have a wooly buckeye, that's the name of an animal, <laughs> and a dragon, name of an animal, okay. blood tree. So it's it. going to cost five, six, but because I get mountain discount, so this is going to cost me nothing. So it's five, and this is going to cost me only four total. Okay. Right? Minus both... one, minus one. Nice. Okay. So it's going to cost me four. Very good. One, two, three, and four, leaving me with four left. Yep. Uh, they are of different values mm -hmm. in terms of those sprouts, which is exactly what we want. Mm -hmm. And so let's go ahead and figure out where am I going to put you. I'll put you there and there. Okay. One and two, just like that. Um, I think that's everything there. Well, you get to draw four cards? I get to draw four cards, yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Well, you chose green, so I'm going to play a card and I get to draw one as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play the dog rose, nice. so I will also get to claim the animal oh, one. Oh, you're going to do it too. I am, but just not before you. That's good. Because <laughs> you're the active player. Yeah, but you have two of so them. So here's four soil. That's pretty good. And this I'll place here, I think. Okay. I'm trying to be mindful of my uh, all of the rules. The rules, yeah. Okay, and I get to draw a card. I'm going to play it. It's an event, the cold front. Okay. It just lets me compost two cards. <laughs> nice. Right, there you go. That's good. Just boom. Two points. There you go. Two there points. Go. Uh, so I have to toss these three back, and then I'm going to keep this one. Okay. Um, can I just activate my green ability? Yeah, sure. I still only have the one, which is the growth. I think okay. I'm going to top this. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to top this one. Wow, that's worth 10 points. Yeah. Boom. Uh, you're doing pretty well. I don't know. I don't have this. Yeah, that's And you, true. you were able to... Get 28 points on that. Yeah. Your score is going to be ridiculous. Hopefully. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. Uh, <laughs> so I get uh, two. I didn't play out of terrain, so I'm going to get two sprouts, which is nice. Just points. 
I need card drawing abilities. Yeah. If you start the game with not many cards in your hand, you need to find, find stuff that will let you draw cards, right. right? Maybe I should have been taking the yellow action more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, are you done? Yes. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm also done. done. Uh, I am going to claim two different uh, of these fauna cards. Okay. So I have the odd number ones, I believe. So let's just start from the top. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the odd numbers. So we want this one, which Monique already claimed earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, and then um, I have three flora animals mm -hmm. um, with uh, names on it. So I have the woolly buck eye the <laughs> dragon uh -huh. and the hairy crab grass nice that one goes out over here and then actually monique i realized i got another one what Get double abilities down. one double ability two three four and five i like how you said that so gingerly like you know i hate to break it to you but... I, I forgot i forgot that, that that was like the crucial card for me the dragon Own blood it, tree Naveen. you've earned it the dragon blood tree was huge it was the odd number it had the name of an animal, yeah. and it's a double ability. That was like a huge card for now me. Now you need to find one of those in real life. It looks, it looks Make nice. Make it your, yeah. your destiny to find one and thank it. Yeah, looks, <laughs> looks nice. All right, it does look yeah. nice. I wouldn't mind looking for one of those. Mm -hmm. I also claim um, the the flora with an animal right. in their name. I have dragon sprouts, uh, tiger, orchid, and dog rose. Nice. Well, I got the dog. I know you would have I'll liked that, that one. one. Yeah. How, many, yeah. how many points is the dog worth? The dog? Yeah. Four? Four, that's good. Yeah, that's good. it's not bad. Yeah. Uh, but I guess that's it, right? That's it. We are very, 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 very close. close to if the I end. If I put out another one, Dangerously it's, it's over. close. Yeah. Is that a threat? Mm -hmm. Well, I better go to yellow then. Okay, so, so yellow. I'm just gonna draw one, two, three, four cards, and I get two growths. I'm just gonna grow. You're gonna grow? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to, to just So this uh, one. put it on the higher This one has just one on it, capacity. so it's a ca canopy. Cards. Uh, this one just one, so I'm just gonna put a canopy because okay. canopies are worth points at the end, also, mm -hmm. according to this card. Mm -hmm. I will do this. I'm gonna compost two cards from my hand. So I'm gonna compost these two, and I get a growth for that. So yes. I'm gonna top off this. What color do I need? I'm gonna go with green. <laughs> There's that. There you go. Uh, I don't, uh, what is it? Yellow? Mm -hmm. Okay. So going down here, I also have another growth to gain. So let's do that. And two soil. So I'm gonna take two soil. All right, that's everything. Okay. So you have some stuff? I do have some stuff. So I get a soil. Mm -hmm. And then, so this one says I get plus three growth on eight, any of the eight adjacent flora. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put them just on this one here. One, two, three, like that. So it's gonna be one, I'm gonna cap, cap it. it, two, and then it's gonna be three, just like that. Okay. And this one, I get another growth. So I'm gonna cap this one. Okay. So let's go ahead and just uh, cap it. I'm going to give you the soil for that. Soil, and then um, I don't need more soil, so I'm just okay. going to leave that one right there. This one, I don't need to draw a card, so I'm uh -huh. going to leave it. This one, I will uh, toss two cards into my... Into your compost? Into my compost. Your compost is huge. My it's compound. stinky. Here you go. There you go. And Here's what? two more soil oh, for thanks. you. Appreciate it. For that, right? Yep, that's it. All right, back to you, which I think I know what you're going to do. Yeah, I'm going to end it. Uh... have to. The All person right. that ends it gets seven points, so that's kind of what I was looking at. That's no. right. Also, Let's do this now. Okay. You should just put this there. Okay. Yeah, that so sounds that good. We remember to give you the seven points. All right. Let's get the most bang for my buck here. Can I just play my cards? Yeah, go ahead. It's This is a zero. It doesn't cost any soil. Okay. So I'm just going to play this. Um, it's Sphere Mint. I don't know. I'm going to play it here because you I don't You didn't get to the that. double. Uh, huh? You weren't able to find the, the double abilities? But double of it. No. Right here. No. Oh, okay. I wasn't. I wasn't. So I'm going to do that, and then I draw a card, and my still my only green ability is that okay. growth one. So I'll put one on top here. Okay? Cool. So go ahead. Okay, so I can play two, but I only have capacity for one, so I'm just going to play the one card. This is a lobster mushroom. It's another mm -hmm. animal card. Uh, it's going to cost three. No discounts on this particular... Oh, no, actually, I, I get one discount because uh, it's an, a fungi. So instead of it being three, it's two. Okay. Uh, according to my terrain card, I'm just going to place this one out over here. And um, I think that's going to wrap it up. So that's going to cost me... Uh, I already paid the two. Yeah. And that's going to be it for me. Okay. Um, so I do get to activate this, which is put two sprouts out. Mm -hmm. Let's just go ahead and put two sprouts out. Why not? Let's just put it on my new card. 
There we go. Okay. <laughs> you get to draw four cards and keep one. I don't think that. that it yeah, I don't think that matters. Cards in hand, right? So um, I'll just I'll just take one card off the top. I will say there was a card that I passed on that gave you points for cards in hand, well, but I I don't. I think... don't have that card. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. this is it because Naveen triggered the end of the game. We finish out the. Re you went first, right? I did go first. Okay, so you get great. One more turn. I was so worried there that I would not be able to play out uh, the last two cards in my hand. But oh, I do get one more action because we finish out the round and it will be this one. I would like to finish out my display. So I'm going to play these two cards. Sure. It's 10 soil total. So five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay. Wow. So close to not having that. Uh, and I'm just going to play them where? <laughs> Let's see. This is a mushroom. So I'll place the mushroom here. And then this is there. Okay. Because it's I needed to have four types of different uh, symbols mm -hmm. in each column. Yeah. So, so you got that done, huh? I did. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, I do have a green activation there, which is the, the big topper on that. I'll put the topper right there. That's good. Oh, I'm uh, going to go with blue. Nice. Change it up. Yeah, change it up. And that's a little it. balance. Two yellow, two a little red, bit of balance. two green, two blue. Yeah, that was the hope. <laughs> All right. Cool. Did you do anything? Um, I don't think there's anything I can do other than, well, I get to activate this. Yeah. Which is uh, get two points. That's two points. Yeah, I'll take it. All right. Yeah. Well, that is the end. That's it. That's yeah. the end of the game. So cool. there's a lot of end game scoring to be had. I'm going to get the score pad. Sure. <laughs> All right. So we are going to do this in order. There's okay. This is going to be a high scoring game. So we're going to have to do a lot of math. Yeah. First things first, please count up all of the base points on your cards. Okay. So that's going to include the two cards that are on your player board. So just a tiny the leaf that points, you see. Just the leaf points. Okay. Okay. I have my number, by the way. So I just counted these two plus all of the uh, cards in my display, and that was a total of 39. Okay, mine is uh, 47. Uh-oh. Okay, now we're going to look at the events that are uh, that we played and add up the points or subtract points. I just have one point Zero. for that. Zero? So you don't score or Nothing. no negatives either. So that's nice. Next, we have one point per card in our compost. So now ah. is your, your time to shine, Naveen. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got. I have eight. So that was easy. 22. Wow. 22. <laughs> <sighs> Tucking them in. All right. One point per uh, sprout. So all of your cubic cubes, okay. just count those. I have 30. Uh, 39. Okay. Kind of beat me in uh, every category here. <laughs> all the categories. Uh, one, one point, or actually, sorry, uh, your points for your growths. So anything that's not capped is just one point per. Okay. For all the ones that have caps, you're just going to score the max points that are in the white. Uh, circle okay. leaf to the sure. right. I have 39. Uh, 16 for me. Ah, there you okay. Go. There you go. I had some good growth you have, yeah. action. You were going with that one. Now, any of your terrain cards that score you points. So do you have any of those? I have one. It says this one. Okay. In this column for mm -hmm. herbs, you get three points per. I was not able to lock one in here. So I only got uh, three points for this being an herb. Okay. Relative to that. And Is I that think that's only... my only brown uh, ability one end game. Okay, so because... Points. Your other terrain cards gave you ongoing. So terrain cards are either going to give you like end game scoring stuff discounts. or ongoing ability that yeah. discounts. Yeah. So I have two terrain cards that do that. Okay. Um, I technically have a third brown ability here, but this just basically just makes this a wild. Got it. So this is going to be three points per each herb that's orthogonally adjacent to this terrain. So, so I think I did nine. one, two, three. So it's yeah. nine. Okay. Um, and then this one is two points per card that costs four or more soil. Ooh. So one, two, Three, four, five. Oh no, six. <laughs> um, seven. So seven times what? Seven times two. Fourteen. Fourteen plus nine. Fourteen plus 23. nine. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. That's good. Yeah, it's not that's bad. a twenty-point swing right there. Yeah, we're gonna ignore the growths that just collapsed. Unbelievable. That was a two earthquake there. Now we're going to score each ecosystem card. So let's start with these two. And we'll okay. go to our personal ones. Yeah, sure. This is six points per row in which each of the four cards have a different number of. Uh, sprouts. Yeah, I think I did it on all of them. I think I did it on all of them too. That's good. Because it's five zero two six, right? Four two six five. Oh, I did it on all of them except this last oh, one. Oh, you got zeros. Oh no. It's only okay. it's only six less. So it's eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. So I have a six four five two. Uh huh. Uh five zero two four zero four five six. 
um, and and you just are not drawing that thing that gets you that fauna card, yeah. then it's just not going to happen because there's no other way to get it going. Yes. Um, but there's all what I do appreciate is there's those percentages on the cards, just like kind of like, like in like wingspan, wingspan. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Where it's like, okay, if, are you going to gun for this because it's a one in seven shot that yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. Gonna, you know, you're going to get that for every card you draw. Right, right, right. Um, so. Yeah, I think you were having some trouble in this playthrough getting yes. particularly like the cards. Like I was very that abundant in cards. Yeah, quite punishing. So actually, let's start with theme. Let's we're gonna stop doing the comparisons now to Ark Nova and Wingspan because sure. I know that not everybody has played those games. But uh, starting with the theme, you know, this is a nature theme. I do love those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that this has more of a plant spin because we usually see the animals. That's true. Yeah. Um, player count and replayability. So this game, you do something every turn, which means. Things can get kind of messy in terms of uh, keeping track of what other people are doing around the table. Yeah, that's I, I'm not I can't speak for you, but for me that's not necessarily. We don't tend to play a lot of games like that. Like it's, I struggle with games like that where I can't I don't know what you're doing over there. You know what I mean? So this one is uh, way more multiplayer solitaire for sure. Yeah, in the sense that it's like especially in higher player counts when it's like okay I'm taking this action okay to speed it along it's mm -hmm. like all right well I'm also going to take this action. And sure, yeah, 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 what you're doing over there, no problem, yeah, I, yeah. I believe you, you got it. And then, like, you're just kind of head down. Okay, I'm going to run my engine. You're running yeah. your engine? Okay, perfect, you know, you're done. In this particular play, like, there was a little bit more interaction in, t in the sense that, like, it's like, okay, I'm looking at, like, like how many odd cards do you mm -hmm, have? Mm -hmm. Well, you started with one odd card? Okay, mm -hmm. maybe I need to try to find my way above. But that's kind of it um, in terms of, like, which cards, unlike Wingspan. Sorry, I know we said we didn't want to say that. Uh, the, the comparison in Wingspan, that display yeah. is there. So right. you're kind of competing over that. This one is, you know, you're taking you're cards card. and it's like, hey, well, I'm going to play this card and I'm going to compost this one and yeah. I'm going to trash this one over here. Right. So it doesn't really have any bearing as to what, you know, kind of your opponents are uh, going to be doing around the table. Yeah, the only yeah. aspect of the game that really makes it multiplayer is the fact that you get to follow, right? The, it has a follow mechanism to it. If you didn't catch the playthrough where when somebody takes an action, you also get to take a lesser version of that action. And everybody gets to activate their displays, their tableaus. Um, now, in our playthrough of it, we took turns, but you're not going to do that. Like when you're playing the game, that's going to take so long, especially if you play the more than two players, because over time your display gets bigger. And you know, mm -hmm. whenever Naveen took the blue action, I'm like, oh my goodness, you're going to go through it, that whole display <laughs> right now. Yeah. Um, and there was moments in our playthrough where it's like. I like, I know you're taking your action. I just, I'm just going to do t double growth. I'm just yeah. going to growth. Just go, yes. yeah, you do your thing. Yes. Like, yeah. And so you're going to run into those yeah. uh, scenarios um, over the course of the game. So people are just going to be head down like, I'm going to, I'm going to run my engine and you're just going to trust that it's happening, right? Yeah, especially because like you have to kind of account for everything. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you're just going to stop and like wait and then go back and be like, okay, where, what was my brain thinking yeah, yeah. while I'm watching you? Right. Like now I don't remember what was going on. Yeah. What was my plan? So you know. maybe that doesn't bother you, but for, for the two of us, it seems like we, we're more of those people who like to, we like to know what's going on yeah, <laughs> at all I think times, so, right? Yeah, Any, anytime there's a game that's like that, um, where, where you're just basically like, yeah, 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 whatever you got, yeah. no problem. Sure, I'm sure you're doing fine. Mm -hmm. I find a little bit less enjoyment out of mm -hmm. it because, you know, you want to come together and play the game and, and um, you know, yeah. enjoy other people's turns right. as much as your own, almost. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Mm -hmm. And so uh, in terms of player count, I preferred it at two. I think the it's going to be more interesting maybe at higher player counts, but you run into, you kind, it's kind of like a balance, right? I think you're right with more two. More chaos with higher player counts, but uh, the following is not as predictable. Um, but in two, like I know maybe it's going to go and take the green action now, so I can kind of plan for that. So that's it does true, feel yeah. more strategic, I yeah, think, and yeah. it's faster. That's faster true, yeah. Too. Yeah, well, it's nice. That too, it's like, you took an action. Okay, I'll just take whatever follow you give me. Yeah, like but I know it's a coming. bunch of soil. Yeah. So he's going to take the green action. I know it's coming back to me. Yeah, I know yeah. I, I'm in control of every other turn mm -hmm. versus like, I guess I'm going to do the drawing cards turn, something mm -hmm. like that in a four or five player game. Right. Um, so yeah, I think I enjoy it best at two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In terms of replayability, uh, the game comes with different modes. So there are different uh, difficulty levels, but really it just, I think the only difference is the setup, right? You can kind of choose your starting setup in yeah. the advanced mode, mm -hmm. um, but it does, you can make it simpler. 
you know, depending on who who's playing, what their preference is. Yep. You can also do a two versus two, two team game, and there's a solo mode. Yep. Um, in addition to that, the, the game comes with a ton of these cards. A lot of like, variety. A lot of variety yeah. of the Fauna cards, and you're only playing with four of them in a game, and each card is double-sided. Mm -hmm. So it's like the number of cards times two. Yeah. So if you enjoy this kind of gameplay, uh, there's a lot to explore in terms of di the different combinations of goals. Because going into mechanics, I think at the end of the, the day, the reason why this game is enjoyable, is mass enjoyable, is because it's really just feeding off of these goals, mm -hmm. right? You have seven goals that you're trying to keep track of, that you're trying to uh, remember to keep track of when yeah. you're building your tableau. You get the six out there, that's yes. public knowledge, at least right. in our mode of play, and plus your one ecosystem card. Mm -hmm. and th those are the seven you have to pay attention to. Yes, those are the yeah. seven that you're constantly trying to pay attention to, and then mm -hmm. outside of that, you're just trying to be as efficient as possible, trying to dig through the deck to find the cards, and then uh, arrange them in your display in a way that will be the most engine building efficient, mm -hmm. because you also get to trigger your display uh, to give you those benefits. Yeah. So that puzzle, I think, is what's going to draw a lot of people to the game. Yeah, you can also increase uh, kind of that beyond the seven is if you get those terrains that also get you end game scoring, then mm -hmm. now the the placement of things, there's some, some of them, uh, I had one in a previous game where it's, you want certain types of fauna to, uh, or plant life to be diagonal mm -hmm. relative to it. And so that was like, a, okay, I really want to maximize this score. How the heck am I going to do that? Mm -hmm. So then you you start like taking away from like your, your thoughts of like uh, mm -hmm. the public objective. So um, the game can kind of pull you in different directions. And like you start looking at cards and you're like, well, what can I afford? Mm -hmm. Okay, is it good to play this now? Well, I guess I have to play this now because Monique played the green. So, okay, I guess I'm going to take this route. So it is sandboxy in that sense that there's a lot of things to do, but in terms of replayability, you are going to be doing technically the same things. You're always going yeah. to want to grow on your cards. Yeah. You always want to get those sprouts out. You're always going to want to try to um, to satisfy your ecosystem cards and then yeah. race for those faunas. Yeah, I, I I don't necessarily know that it's too sandboxy to tell you the truth. Um, it's just it's it's a lot of the same. You know, it's it's there's only three resources. You just have the growth, the sprouts, and the soil. I think it's and when so, they say sandboxy, like, at least like what they're trying to allude to is yeah. that like first card goes out, now go from there. Where where is and it going to go? And then kind of yeah, build. Exactly. Okay, I yeah. can I can see that yeah. you're you're kind of building, you're birthing your display from one card and kind of making it grow yeah. uh, depending on how you're able to fulfill those Yeah, I don't think conditions. it's like in the sense of like paths to victory. Yeah, it's not like an open world like that, <laughs> board yeah, game here. Yeah. But I think the thing that's really going to call to people is that puzzling of cards. The puzzling of cards and trying to build your display to make the most efficient and highest scoring possible. Mm -hmm. Scores are really high in this really game. High, yeah. um, there's a lot of math to be had by the end of it. Uh, but the thing that I think really, besides the whole multiplayer solitaire aspect, the thing that that really I think holds it back in my mind is the lack of a display of cards. Mm -hmm. You're really, really dependent on the cards that you draw. And uh, historically, um, you know, I think I don't know if we talked about this in our in our Arc Nova playthrough, but Arc Nova was a game that we really had no business liking. Yeah. Because games like Terraforming Mars or like just games that require so much card synergy and you to really draw the cards that you need, uh, we're not. Or I'm not really into games like that. Yeah, same. Yeah. And I think the thing that that kind of made Arc Nova different was the race element, was the fact that you're just trying to get there as fast as possible. So mm -hmm. you're you're trying to build something as quickly as possible. Um, this kind of has that in the sense, in a sense, because you're it's whoever can fill up their display first. Yeah. Ends it, but. The, from what I've seen, we've always been like a, a card or two away. Away from each other. Yeah, like yeah, you were able not, to complete even on your last turn. Then. Yeah, yeah, it's not super difficult to fully build out your display, mm -hmm. but just not having the cards, like choosing the the starting setup that gives you fewer cards really puts you at a disadvantage. It felt I like feel. that, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I started the game with really only three cards in my hand. You had less soil and yeah. less cards. Yes, um, but then... my card was worth eight points. Yeah. And so if I had chosen the other setup, I would have started with six cards in my hand and six soil. Mm -hmm. So it's still but not points, yeah. the seven. The seven cards. <laughs> cards that you had. I, I started with seven cards in hand, five in my compost, which means mm -hmm. I'm up five, uh, and then six soil. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like that, I guess like you can just uh, ch try to challenge yourself with yeah. those cards. But... It's just very, very card dependent. Mm -hmm. So if you're okay with that, which it seems like a lot of people who love this game really, you know, it speaks to them, then you might love it. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that I'm not too keen on are the events. You can just draw these and then you can just play them. And some of them are great. Like the two events that I played scored me a yeah, net positive yeah. and they just gave me the ability to comp 
to compost from the deck twice and get a growth. So I don't know. I think it's going to just speak to a certain population of gamers. Yeah. And for me, I think it's okay. Yeah, it's just like right in the middle for me. Like yeah, uh, the, yeah, the yeah. first play, especially with, with, at the higher player count when we played it, and it was just kind of like messy and just like, a, the, the, again, the multiplayer solitaire for me. Mm -hmm. That part of it was just like, I wish I was interacting with everybody else a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it just became a like, I'm just going to try to race to end the game yeah. like, a, as fast as I can and right. then to see where the points lie. Yeah. yeah. I think the first time yeah. I played it, I liked it a lot more mm -hmm. than now. I think after every play that I have of it, it kind of has decreasing yeah. uh, returns. And I think it's because of the, the card dependency. That's what's really kind of doing it for me. I think like a, a face up like display of like three to six cards would be something nice. Yeah, it would like be something could, nice yeah. just so you can kind of choose like, hey, that is something yeah. I could And I you could know use, you're right? all competing over that one Yeah, you're card. competing yeah. over it, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. but like I said, the first time I played it, I thought that it just had really high fun factor. Mm -hmm. And again, I think that's where it's going to, going to hit because the rules overhead is not that high either. Yeah, if you like games like where it's like this feeds into this and then that gives me this resource and then mm -hmm. which then I can turn and burn the and then now it's my turn and then on my turn, I, with all the things I got passively on your turn, I can do something really epic on my turn. Right. Then you might like this game. This might be something for you. For us both, I think it's like right in that medium, like mm -hmm. medium tier. It's like we don't absolutely love it, but we also think it's still a quality design. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that is Earth. Uh, if you've played the game before, if you have any thoughts on it, we would love to hear from you. Please leave us a comment down below. Now, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you like this one and you'd like to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Bye. Bye.